This is lesson six of 16 lessons on how to build a Joomla website. You only need to watch this lesson if you do not yet have Joomla installed at your web host or if the quick install option demonstrated in the previous lesson is not available with your host. In this lesson, I take you through the four steps to installing Joomla at a web host that includes a control panel. These days, that's just about every host. However, as different web hosts provide different control panels, the instructions need to be a little generic. I will demonstrate the process using the most popular control panel called cPanel. There are four steps which are 1. Get the file from Joomla 2. Create a database 3. Upload and extract the Joomla file and 4. Run the web installer as previously mentioned, Joomla websites consist of a bunch of files and a database. To get the files, navigate to www.joomla.org and click the download button. The download page lists the currently supported versions of Joomla. This course is all about Joomla 3, so go ahead and click the corresponding download button. This downloads a single compressed file to your local computer. Step 2. Create a database. The second step is to create a database at your web host. You don't need to understand how databases work as Joomla takes care of this. To create a database, you need to specify a database name, a database user, and a password for the database user. In your control panel, look for a database section and an option to create a new database. In the case of cPanel, there is a wizard, and that's what I'll use to create the new database in this demonstration. Here are the steps. Step 1. Log in to the control panel using the details provided by your web host. Step 2. Click My SQL Database Wizard. Step 3. Enter a name for the database. And click Next Step. Step 4. Enter a username for the database and note that the maximum characters is 7. Step 5. Enter a password for the database user twice and make sure you remember it. Step 6. Click the Create User button. Step 7. On the next page, leave all the boxes checked and click the Next Step button. And the final step, Step 8. Make a note of the four pieces of data. The first one is the database name. Note that cPanel adds a prefix to the word you entered. In this example, I've used Joomla v5 underscore Australia. So that's the full database name and this will be required later. The second piece of information is the database user. And again, cPanel has added a prefix. So the full value in my case is Joomla v5 underscore Sydney. The third piece of information is the database password that you entered in step 4. And finally, you need to know the MySQL location, which in this case is localhost. And that's normally what it is, but check with your web host. That's the process for creating a database. And as I mentioned, the actual steps you have to take will vary between control panels. Step 3. Upload and extract the Joomla file. The Joomla files now need to be copied to your hosting account. To do this, you need the Joomla file that was downloaded in Step 1. Now, you could extract the contents of this file onto your local computer and then upload those files to your hosting account using FTP software. However, as Joomla consists of tens of thousands of files, this process takes a long time. 
most hosting control panels provide a faster solution. And once again, I'll show you the actual steps using cPanel. Start by logging into the control panel and look for the file manager. In cPanel, it's in a section labelled Files. Click the file manager and choose the default option Web Root. You're then taken to the folder in your hosting account where your website files are stored. In cPanel, that's a folder named Public HTML. If your hosting account is new, this folder will be empty, and so this is where the Joomla file will be uploaded. However, if you already have a website, there will be some contents here already, and it makes sense to place the Joomla file in a new temporary folder. To do this in cPanel, click the New Folder icon at the top. And enter a name such as New Site. Click the Create New Folder button, then click on the folder that you created and you're ready to go. Now here is the rest of the process. 1. Navigate to either the main hosting folder, as explained earlier, or a subfolder, as I'll do in this case. Step 2. Click the Upload button. Step 3. In the new window that opens, click the Choose File button. Step 4. A new window opens displaying the files on your local computer. Navigate to the location where you downloaded the Joomla file and double click the file name. cPanel immediately starts to upload the file. When this is finished, click the backlink. The file is displayed in the listing. Click the file name so the line becomes highlighted. Towards the top is an icon labelled Extract. Click this and then click Extract File. This process takes some time. When it is complete, click the Close button. The original Joomla file that was uploaded is no longer required, so delete it to save a bit of space. Find it in the File Manager. Click the icon to the left of the file name. Above this, click the Delete icon. And confirm that you want to delete this file. Once again, if you're using a different control panel, you should be able to find your way through to the right sections and buttons. The installation is completed by working through a wizard. In your browser, navigate to your web address. So enter www. whatever your domain name is, or if you place Joomla in a subfolder of your account, you'll need to go to www. whatever your domain name is, followed by a slash, and then the name of the folder that was created. That's what I did, so the address I'm going to is www.joomlavideodemo.com forward slash new site. If everything is OK with your hosting, you'll now see the web installer. If you get a different page displaying warnings, have a look at the troubleshooting appendix in the workbook. The web installer is divided into three pages, the first of which is configuration. Start by entering a name for the site. If you enter a description, this will be used as what's known as the meta description for every page. This is the text that appears in search engine results, and as it's best to use a unique description for every page, I tend to leave this empty. In the right column, enter the email address that will be used for the site.
Next, enter a username that will be used to access the backend administrator. Choose something more secure than simply the word admin. Perhaps your first name and last name separated by a dot. Then enter a password twice. Most website hacks result from weak passwords, so please don't treat this lightly. I strongly recommend a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters, symbols and numbers. Move on to the database section by clicking the next button towards the top right. This is where you enter the details of the database that was created earlier. The first option includes the note, this is probably my SQLI, which is true, so leave it unless it doesn't work, in which case you'll need to change it to my SQL. It's unlikely you'll choose this last option, Postgres, unless you happen to be familiar with this database. The next setting is hostname, which, as the note suggests, is probably the single word localhost. Some web hosts use a different setting, so if this fails, ask them for help. Next is the username. This is the database username that you created. Remember to enter the entire database username, including any prefix if necessary. In my case, that was Joomla v5 underscore Sydney. The next line is the database username password. Then the database name and once again include the prefix if necessary. For me that's Joomla v5 underscore Australia. Leave table prefix as it is. This is a database setting which will be different every time you install a Joomla website. The last option, old database process, can be left as it is too. Move to page 3 of the installer by clicking the next button at the top right. On this final overview page, you're first asked to choose some sample data for the site. This option builds a Joomla website that contains sample pages and content. There are several sample sites available, including one called Learn Joomla, so let's go with that. In the next section under Overview, you can choose to have the configuration settings that you've entered sent to you by email. I prefer to simply note these elsewhere, but if you like, you can change this to yes and the information will be sent to the email address you entered on page 1. By default, passwords are not included in this email, but you can override this if you don't care about the security implications of sending passwords via email. I recommend leaving this set to no and instead using a password manager to store this information securely. Everything else on this page is advisory. Note that all the settings under pre-installation check must be set to yes. See the troubleshooting appendix in the workbook for information on how to correct these settings if necessary. Ideally, the two columns under recommended settings should match, but most functions within Joomla will still work if they don't, so you can at least continue for now. It's a good idea to note any differences and after Joomla is installed, ask your host if anything can be done to get the settings the same. Now it's time for the web installer to do some work. Click the install button at the top right and wait for the process to complete. A number of steps are performed and you can watch the progress here. If everything went well, you'll see this confirmation page. There is one more step. The Joomla installation files are still in your hosting account and leaving them there would potentially allow someone to mess up your installation. You remove the installation folder by clicking this button. 
Then visit the front end of the site by clicking the Site button. Joomla has now been installed and you're ready to take a walk through the front end of the site in the next lesson. If you are not successful, please refer to the troubleshooting appendix in the workbook of this course. If you haven't downloaded the workbook yet, have a look for it on the site you're on now or at our site at www.buildajoomlawebsite.com.